the Denver Nuggets just won their first NBA championship in franchise history. After 47 years, the Denver Nuggets can finally call themselves NBA champions. But did you know they used Bruce Lee to win it all? That's right, the legendary martial artist and the founder of Jeet Kune Do has something to do with Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic teaming up for the title. In this video, let's see why Murray got the spirit of Bruce Lee, explore what Jeet Kune Do is, and how Jokic embraces this philosophy. Most importantly, make sure to watch till the end to discover how it all helped the Nuggets on their journey and allow them to build their championship flow. Rewind it back to the year 1997. Jamal Murray is born, and his father, Roger Murray, is bumping Wu-Tang Forever, which dropped the same year. He's also watching Bruce Lee's films, getting inspired by his philosophy, and the entire kung fu culture. Next thing you know, young Jamal is just three years old, and his father is beginning to train him in the martial arts, influenced by the teachings of Bruce Lee and Shaolin Kung Fu. This wasn't about turning Jamal into a kung fu prodigy, it was about instilling discipline, focus, and resilience in his mind, traits that would become invaluable in his basketball career. Going to a cold gym to practice, sustaining a bad floor burn, easy game. Jamal has come to the league prepared, equipped with mental toughness, resilience, and a never give up spirit inspired by the martial arts and the pain tolerance drills his dad would have him do. Roger Murray would have Jamal balance cups of hot tea on his quads while holding a deep knee squat with no clock so he wouldn't anticipate the end of the exercise. In the fall, he would make his son pick up leaves in their backyard with his bare hands, even in the Canadian cold. All this was to teach Jamal patience and endurance. When you were younger though, you used to do pain tolerance exercises and drills, didn't you? Tell me about that. Yeah, I did um, <clears throat> squatting with, like you said, tea on my, uh, on my quads. I had to squat there for a while, a lot of time without a clock. So you didn't know how much time was left, which is a little bit different mentally. Um, and then uh, we had this big maple tree in the front yard. And so during the fall, like the leaves would fall off and it would be cold. And so I would learn like picking up the leaves with my bare hands, like it would strengthen my hands. So when we get in cold gyms, it's like, it's like nothing. Like it doesn't even matter how cold the gym is, how hot the gym is. Um, so just little things like that helped me out and um, build my threshold. Come winter, Roger Murray would make Jamal dribble on ice to improve his ball handling skills. This unconventional training not only honed Jamal's agility, but also his concentration and hand-eye coordination. Man. Have you ever tried dribbling a basketball on ice? With ice being slippery, maintaining control of the ball requires immense focus. It was a practical representation of Lee's philosophy. The successful warrior is the average man with laser-like focus. As Jamal grew older, the kung fu regimen his father had imposed became even more rigorous. Push-ups in the snow, three-pointers in the wind, playing with a blindfold, jogging sideways, uphill, and even in the middle of freezing winters. Every activity was meant to build physical strength, mental resilience, and a winner's mindset. When Jamal turned seven, they started watching kung fu movies together. When Roger would pause a scene, rush to the TV, point to Bruce Lee and say, look at his footwork, look at his patience. They were discussing how Bruce Lee used his mind to defeat his enemy not just his fist. It was these discussions that sparked in Jamal an understanding of the mind-body connection, of patience, discipline, and single-minded focus, all critical attributes for a successful basketball player. In his early childhood, Jamal was also taught meditation by his father, a practice integral to martial arts that helps in building a calm demeanor under extreme pressure or stress. He was made to meditate before every training session, to channel all his energies into the task at hand. The young basketball prospect found the experience refreshing. I felt like I was building a special muscle that no one could see. Without really knowing it, I was training. Jamal shared in his Players' Tribune article years later. Fast forward to Jamal's NBA journey. 
The philosophies he learned growing up played a pivotal role. His father's voice echoed in his ears during games, reminding him about the lessons from martial arts and Bruce Lee's teachings, qualities that set him apart from other players. Grueling matchups, pressure cooker situations, or nail-biting finishes, Jamal exhibited profound resilience reminiscent of the Bruce Lee quote, Do not pray for an easy life. Pray for the strength to endure a difficult one. Nothing rattled him, nor did he allow obstacles to deviate him from his path to the NBA championship title. But basketball is a team sport, and believe it or not, Jamal Murray happened to be accompanied by somebody who embraces the philosophy of Ji Kune Do without even knowing it, and that's Nikola Jokic. How is that possible? Keep watching to learn what Joker has in common with Bruce Lee's philosophy and how it helped the Nuggets to win a chip. Born in Serbia, Jokic grew up playing basketball in a simple way. No flashy moves, no showboating, just sheer basketball IQ and pure skill. Just fundamentals. Rebounding, passing, shooting, and understanding the game. When playing at the Nike Hoop Summit before being drafted to the NBA, Jokic impressed scouts with his exceptional court vision and knack for predicting plays before they happen, much like a martial arts master anticipates an opponent's next move. His unique style of play didn't fit neatly into any conventional category, much like Bruce Lee's principles of Jeet Kune Do, a form of martial arts that emphasized adaptability and fluidity over rigid styles and techniques. In a post-game interview, he described his game as just simple. When I'm open, I score. When I'm not, I pass. Basketball is simple. Just playing simple. Something like that. I, when I open, I score. When I, um, I pass, you know, play basketball. They just uh, play simple, simple as they can, you know, something like that. He wasn't the quickest, nor the most athletic, yet his gameplay bore striking resemblance to Bruce Lee's philosophy. And another one of Lee's quotes comes to mind. It's not the daily increase, but daily decrease. Hack away at the unessential. Jokic's style wasn't about showy dribbles or staggering vertical leaps. It was about being efficient, making the right decisions, adapting on the fly like water flowing effortlessly around obstacles. His uncanny ability to see plays before they developed, that's Jeet Kune Do in action on a basketball court. No style, just flow, just adaptability. His court vision that could spot the tiniest of openings was akin to a martial artist's acute awareness. Jokic's game is not about fancy tricks or speed, but about intellect and anticipation about understanding the game at a level that few others do. His calm demeanor is as valuable as his skill, contributing to his team's strategies and their execution under pressure. A key characteristic of Jeet Kune Do is its principle of having no way as the way. This is evident in Jokic's playstyle. There is no fixed method, no predictable pattern. He adapts to the flow of the game his movement seamlessly blending with the dynamics on court. Jokic makes the most of the present moment, using his opponent's actions to his advantage while keeping an eye on every available option. Just like in martial arts, where every move is measured, calculated, yet fluid, he transcends the rigid structures of conventional basketball strategy, epitomizing Bruce Lee's philosophy in every play. Bruce Lee believed that a fighter should strive to achieve maximum results with minimum effort, and Nikola Jokic lives this exact principle on the court. Every move he makes is purposeful and focused, mean to outwit opponents and create opportunities for his team. He doesn't waste energy on unnecessary theatrics, keeping his movements minimalistic and effective. An approach that has earned him admiration and respect across the NBA. Efficiency is what makes Joker's game so effective, and it's a key aspect of Jeet Kune Do. As you see, both Jamal and Jokic embody the mental fortitude and adaptable skills espoused in Bruce Lee's philosophy, making them formidable opponents on the court. Their playing styles reflect a deep, intuitive understanding of basketball that goes beyond physical conditioning and individual prowess. It is their mental strength, the focus and self-awareness that sets them apart. 
or just playing simple. Their duo created a synergy that amplified the Denver Nuggets on-court performance, producing a seamless offense that flowed, like water, undefeatable, unconstrained, and unpredictable. They read each other's movements, complemented each other's strengths, and covered for each other's weaknesses, like two martial artists in perfect sync. Their journey together has been nothing short of a testimony to the art of fighting without fighting, a principle central to Ji Kune Do. By embodying this philosophy, they were able to carry the Nuggets to their first NBA championship. The union of Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic, grounded in the principles of adaptability, resilience, and simplicity, has proved to be a mighty force, matched by a few in the league. Together, they proved that basketball was not just a physical game, but a smart kung fu fight where strategy, adaptability, and intellectual prowess ruled supreme. With passionate belief in Bruce Lee's teachings of focusing on the moment and rejecting needless complexity, they played a game that was simple, fluid, and instinctual. The Nuggets often improvised plays, coupled with Jokic's ability to read the court like an open book, and Jamal's unflinching resilience created an air of unpredictability that left their opponents flustered and off guard. Who would have thought that the philosophy of a 20th century martial artist would guide a 21st century basketball team to the title? The Nuggets' thrilling journey has been a unique fusion of hoops and martial arts, a combination that not only challenged conventional norms and redefined basketball strategy, but also brought a refreshing and exciting twist to the game. So the next time you watch the Nuggets play, look closer. You're not just watching a basketball game. You are witnessing a martial arts display of precision, adaptability, and fluidity in action. Somewhere in Shaolin Temple, a monk is smiling. Our pupils are doing a good job. The knowledge has spread. Shaolin Kung Fu has survived.